Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Metal Dogs, a random game I found on Steam. Uh, let's see, hardcore mode. Oh, that's interesting, but no, let's just do normal mode and dive right into this one. As far as I can tell, it's a top-down shooter. Kind of reminds me of Bullet Heavens, but I don't think it's actually roguelike in any way, shape, or form. That is a spin-off of the Metal Max series, which I've never played. I actually have the most recent one, but I never got around to it. It's been a long time since I picked up the corpse of a living thing. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll give it a shot. With my electric shock resuscitation. Alright, come back to life. With this electric shock... Oh, what is this? Is that a memory chip on the collar? Looks like it's recording video. Before I get zapped, let's see what's inside. Okay then, memory playback, execute. Tracking. Pet behavior tracking system activated. Re replaying the target's actions from three hours ago. What the hell is this ostentatious armament? Was this some sort of combat dog or something? But why did it come all the way back to this remote area? Anyway, let's check out what happened before this. Head for the exit. Okay, so I have many gun. Okay, this is... This is kind of charming. I'm just gonna hold all of the buttons. Oh no, I have to I have to choose. That is unfortunate. Almost feels like a mystery dungeon game, but with dogs and guns. Odd choice. Okay, quest clear. I'm still well, <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody, we're dead. Now then, once again, come back to life with an electric shock. Wow. Oh, what a success! I'm gonna switch his voice. But you, what are you doing in a place like that? Well, there's no way you can answer that. You are a dog! As you can see, there's nothing here and no one here. This is just the life you've picked up. You can go wherever you want. Even if you stay here, you'll just be killed by the monsters, just like before. Oh, so we actually just have a bunch, bunch of options. So gold, zero, and we are Pochi. So I'm going to save just in case anything else happens. And we're just going to sortie. Loyal dog, embrace the machine gun. Welcome, novice hunter. What I would like to ask is, oh, uh, ask you here is a simple pest control job. Defeat the ants that have become, a, become huge due to radioactivity. Originally, they were small ants. But once they got huge, they started getting in the way. Yes! I like the music for this. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. A to open a treasure chest. In some dungeons, there are treasure chests. You can open them by approaching treasure chest and pressing the A button. There are various items inside the treasure chest. Don't forget to pick them up. Get the machine gun. You've picked up the rusted machine gun. Equip it in the menu. Cool. Menu. I'll figure it out. Rusted machine gun. Wait. You only get one? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I only get one. I guess there might have been a basic beam gun. Oh! I, I actually, like, have a dash. About clear conditions. You've completed the quest clear conditions. You've... Com okay. That's... It's repeating itself. The screen will show what you've achieved and the quest conditions. Once you've completed the quest clear conditions, go to the goal point. Boy, the translation on this is a little rough. But honestly, not sure if I care. Okay. So I've reload all weapons. There was... Oh. It's that. But I think that might just be a, uh, a dodge. Well, we found the clear point, but I might as well run around and fight things for a hot second. This is a very, like, doughy dog. I don't know how to describe it apart from that. That it's just, the way it moves and animates is very, like, slightly, uh, rubbery? I was gonna say gelatinous, but the idea of a gelatinous dog is a little weird. But, like, especially from behind, it just kind of has this odd, like, yeah, dodogahedron. <laughs> I don't know. It just kind of, it bounces weird. This is a goal point. That's how we get back to base. Would you like to go back to base? Yes. It's a corgi, so doughy isn't wrong. I think it's a um, Shiba Inu, not a corgi. Boy, I hope there's a cor corgi, though. And I hope it's kind of weirdly slow. Challenge conditions. Kill one enemy, success, gain money. What? You're still here? And that cool weapon, where did you bring it back from? If you plan on staying here, there's a doghouse there. You can stay there with your weapon. 
I don't want to see any more weapons or living things. One way or another, they end up dead or broken, and it just annoys me. What you can do in the doghouse? Select the doghouse and press A. Doghouse. A. Dog view. In the dog view, you can observe the dog currently in use. You can also change the background and frame from the menu. Backgrounds and frames can be selected by uh, progressing the quest will be added. Dog! Huh. Huh. Oh, can I not shoot with this? Well, that's fine. This is a weird game, and I kind of love it. Wait, no, whatever. Sortie. Okay, embrace the stronger machine gun. Not only are there ants, there are also strange grass. Uh, there, not only. Oh, wait. There's also a strange grasshopper outbreak. Grasshoppers in the desert are not something to be calm about. I thought they were just in their gregarious phase, but to my surprise, these grasshoppers have no faces. We can't have more of these strange monsters in the future. Kill them! Kill them! Kill them before they multiply. I. This is so incredibly silly. I'm actually, I'm actually getting really curious about the Metal Max series. And I should probably give it a shot someday. Okay, old model machine gun. S stronger? Oh yeah, it is. Well, we can have two guns. Can I get both? No. I was really hoping I'd be able to fire both guns simultaneously. Oh wow. The rusted machine gun is trash compared to this thing. Yeah, so really it's just something to use while I'm um, firing my... Or reloading my gun. Oh yeah, they have no faces because they are gun grasshoppers. Sure, why not? I'm gonna... Oh, can I not... Uh... There we go. Audio settings. I'm just gonna kill the sound effects a smidge. I left loot behind. Oh, did I? I mean, oh well. Oh yeah, and that rusted machine gun is uh, not nearly as accurate either. There we go. And unfortunately, it takes a little bit for the enemies to actually drop their loot, which might not be as much of a problem later on once we really get going. But right now, it's uh, there aren't a whole lot of enemies, so I am usually gone by the time it actually drops or finishes dropping. I wonder if the dog leveling up gets any cool perks or anything. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, what am I even going to be spending money on? You're still there! Moreover, that's an even more dangerous weapon than the previous one. Did you handle the hunter office request? You're a hard worker! The reward has been paid, even though there are no humans here. Me? I'm no longer human. That's right, right huh? It's too dark, you can't see. Ah, uh, the lights, the lights, where are they? I haven't used them for years. Did you see it? This horrifying body of mine. The mysterious whole body mechanization disease, machine head syndrome, that's been spreading all over this world for some time now. This village was wiped out because of it. I'm also just waiting for death here. Now hurry up and get lost. Reservations for the graveyard in this village are already full. Uh, let's see. Well, I can't do anything else other than sortie. Loyal dog, fire the cannon too. The proliferation of ants and grasshoppers continues unabated. Considering the possibility that it will be difficult to sweep them up with machine guns, please use the cannons this time, and sweep them all up at once. Shh, shh. Ah, ah, ah. Can you hear me? I installed a communicator. Now I can keep in contact with you and collect you when you die. Oh, sorry, the dialogue's going too fast. Then go ahead and take a walk through hell, to the extent that you won't die. I think I pressed the wrong button. Oh well, it's fine. Get cannon. Open the menu. Boy, this tutorialization is a little rough. Oh, so we have like... Okay. This is a... Oh boy, that cannon's good. Actually, can I like redo this one? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that much. I don't, I don't th the, think the dialogue is actually that... that impactful. I also don't think I need to use the, uh, I guess I don't have to use the old model cannon on the ants. Oh, that didn't work. And unfortunately my accuracy is, uh, really bad. 
Hopefully we get some better better equipment later on. The dog is now cannon. The dog is powerful. Like, cripes. I mean, even the fact that just a Shiba Inu can carry around a cannon capable of destroying monsters in this manner is pretty wild. Like, I don't know. I This game is immediately giving me some sweet EDF vibes. The only immediate problem is the level design seems pretty boring. But maybe I'll maybe it'll get better as we get further in. What a dog you are! Picking up cannons as well. According to the data in the collector's memory or caller's memory, your destination was the west. Won't your owner be waiting for you there? Or so I say. But there are many powerful monsters in the west. If you go in unarmed, you're sure to be killed. Well, it's none of my business. If you're going to die, do it as far away from here as possible. Loyal dog, fire missiles too, ants, grasshoppers, and now the proliferation of unusual plants. Among them, the supergiant plant was reported to have been spotted, seems to be by far the most dangerous. The request is to destroy these small plants, and if you see a huge plant, we recommend retreating. Fire missiles. There are missiles there. They'll be useful to you. However, there's also a powerful monster in there. You probably can't win now. You should ignore it and come back later. Well, you can't win now. You can try visiting here again after picking up various weapons. If you want to die again, feel free. All right. About challenge conditions. Some quests have challenge conditions. You can obtain rewards by clearing challenge conditions. Okay, so this one is probably take out the big plant. Boy, this... Uh, let's see. Get rid of the rusted one for old model missile. No, that ain't it. So I'll just use the machine gun for this one. Avoid the plants. Could you? Well, cannon kills them. I don't think that's a cannon. Well, I mean, a cannon. It's a can one part cannon, one part sniper rifle. I should probably use the missiles. Oh. Oh, well, we have a healing capsule, so that's kind of useful. How much damage does the missile do? Because the sweet part about the missile is I can fire it from, like, multiple screens away. Oops, stay away from that. Or not multiple screens away, but... Uh, let's see. Just fire all of the guns. Might as well just reload. We also have another level. So, yeah, this very much is... Uh real-time mystery dungeon game, but with dogs with guns. That's amazing. Like, I'm, I'm actually super getting into this, especially if it gets deeper uh, and further in. I mean, al alternatively, I guess you could almost maybe call it a hack-and-slash action RPG in the same vein, but it's, it's like a weird almost either of those, and it's confusing. That's a recovery item there. If your health is getting low, you should equip and use it. The aforementioned powerful monster is close. Get ready and decide whether to fight or run away. Okay, so we should probably equip collar. We don't have any item. Yeah, so we've got a couple of healing capsules at the very least. So left on the D-pad to use it. The yeah, Diablo looks weird. Look, I I'm actually like more into this than Diablo uh Diablo 4, but that might also be because I don't know who these developers are. Destroy ant. Probably just reload. There we go. Dog Ablo. Boy, that cannon really is just absolute nonsense. I do hope the en enemy density goes up by a fair bit. There's a lot of map for how few enemies there are. Let's chuck a couple of uh, missiles out there. Yep, there it goes. I kind of like the missile setup. Like, missiles and cannons just kind of hit and run, stay away from enemies. Did it drop anything? No, it did not. Did this one drop anything? It did. Now I'm assuming Big Plant is probably over here or it's one le level down. No, actually. Oh, there's just more. Yeah, if I'm just fighting ants, I might as well just use the basic machine gun. Looks like that's it for this area. So we'll go down. Diablo Immortal. Oh, gosh. I didn't even try with that game. I... I don't know. There's just something about... How would I describe it? 
a lot of big company games nowadays have that kind of iffy feeling of like, oh boy, this is going to be monetized to heck and back again. And sometimes I can work with it, especially if it's like just cosmetics or stuff like that. And even then, sometimes it feels a bit weird. Some of the enemies are vicious bosses called Wanted. Some quests are of a high difficulty level where defeating Wanted is a requirement for clearing. If defeating a Wanted is not a condition for clearing a quest, you have an option of not forcing yourself to fight. Yeah, but why would I ever do that? I want to fight all of the things. How else will my dog become hyper strong? There we go. Boy, I cannot wait until we have uh, way more accurate guns. I'm definitely going to be one of those people stacking sniper rifles. Oh, well, here's where the wanted is. Okay, let's just clear the periphery first. Okay, reload everything. Because the wanted monster is a bit of a nuisance, but not like a huge one. Oh yeah, that's not bad. There we go. Ooh, the music's kicking up. Yeah, I'm definitely want to... Oh, okay. I'm definitely going to want to get rid of the... Um, uh, let's see, the machine gun? Oh, about damage. Ouch. Right. I do have a... I do have a dash. I should probably use it. I don't know if I'm in, invulnerable when I use it. I can I can definitely take another hit. There we go. Unfortunately, Bombillion King is going to take some kills. Or some hits to go down. Wow. That machine gun is just not accurate. Ow. Oh, hey, leveling up actually healed me. That's useful. Because the other part is Bombillion King uh, repeatedly summons more enemies. As well. There we go. I'll take him out. Okay, is there another one on the other side? Yeah, he's got a couple of plant buddies. Okay. Wipe them out. Yeah, we're a fair ways from, from leveling, so I probably won't get another opportunity to heal like I did earlier. But that's okay. A lot of enemies. Oh boy. I mean, luckily, don't have to worry too much here. His patterns are very basic. Slightly obnoxious to dodge. But not a huge problem. I'll just grab the loot as we go by. Or try dog tag. Okay, I don't know what dog tags are. Here's a question. Can I actually equip those? Item? Healing capsule. Armor? No. Dog tags must be some kind of consumable or collectible. Yeah, so it's not that much EXP. Also, wow, he is really summoning a lot of unfriendos. Okay, delete the next one. There we go. Yeah, the problem is he summons friends specifically whenever he wants. So, oh, I didn't know if those were the homing variety or not. Well, I think we just got the sweet gear. Look at that. All right, I'm just going to snag a lot of this. And we're going to quickly swap out all of our stuff for way better equipment. I don't care if the stats are off. Yeah, I can pretty much just... Well, that was absurdly powerful. Uh, Yeah, I can just use the machine guns. I mean, they, they just absolutely deleted them. So I think that was the right call. I'm going to miss the missiles, just convenience. But on the flip side, uh, no survivors. Game's like, you don't need to fight him. It would be suicide. And I say, it's not suicide, it's loot. But yeah, I'm... 
I'm digging this. This is kind of cool. It's probably not going to be the kind of game that I want to sink, like, hours and hours into on stream. Uh, but I could very much see this being, like, good Switch and Steam Deck fodder. I should see if it actually w runs on either of those. Eh, probably my Steam Deck. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to buy it again on the Switch. Well, we're level 7, or not 7, we're almost level 7, we've got a bunch of decent gear. And we got a bunch of dog tags. Ooh, and we get a bunch of money too. Can I spend my money on things or no? Oh, we got a bunch of healing capsules. Machine guns, artillery, missiles, looks like we have all the weapons we need. However, breaking through to the west, in all honesty, is still impossible. I don't really have time to play with dogs. I wish you'd just hurry up and go somewhere else already. I'll give you some support. Well, just an electric shock res resurrection when you die, and some advice. If it's if it's so the stray dogs can get a little stronger, then this much is enough. <laughs> well then, once again, I'll leave it to you. Are there more dog classes? Yes. I know there are other, or I'm pretty sure there are other dog classes. Okay, so we have different backgrounds. So we got Shiba Inu. We've got Bombillion King. This is my other one. Oh, it's just those two. Or maybe also Doctor? Oh. I mean... And Frame Change. Shiba Inu. Bombillion King. Ugh. Let's just go all Shiba. There we go. There's my YouTube thumbnail. I was checking out the Steam page and saw who the voice actor for the dogs are. Uh, okay. Is there anything else here? Hide button guides? Nah. Whatever, let's let's get out of here. I want to get to the weapon shop. I don't like the fact that it says new, but I ain't gonna look. A lump of romance. Gold ant. Wanted gold ant. This monster is very, is very popular among hunters due to its high cash value. If you find one, there's no choice but to hunt it. You can party with mo you can party with money or invest it in new weapons. It's also a good idea to save up for your retirement. As long as you have money, you get through life one way or another. Three floors, cool. So I just got here. What the actual heck is going on? Dogs with guns. There are gold ants here. If you defeat him, you can get lo loads of money, or get a lot of money besides just the prize money. Gold ants are quick to run, and sometimes they call their allies for help. Be careful so you don't get surrounded without realizing it. Excuse me, sir. I have big guns. So many big guns in such a way that nothing will be able to stop me. I don't know if that was a gold ant or just a regular ant. Not that it matters. Oh, that's an item box. Well, I'm gonna go the other way. But yeah, it's uh, some weird game I found on Steam that came out the other day and caught my eye because it was super weird. And so far I'm having a blast with it. It's definitely kind of light on the depth side of things, but it reminds me a lot of EDF just in terms of uh, the goofy stuff that you can kind of do. All right, I've got a cannon, die. Wow, that's that's a good cannon. The Shiba Inu, Doberman, and French Bulldog. Is that it? I was kind of hoping we could get some more dogs too. And, like, one random cat just for the heck of it. Like, I don't know, give me a Maine Coon or, like, a Munchkin cat or something. Just a weird option that doesn't make a whole lot of sense just for the heck of it. Shell showed me a video of a mun Munchkin kitten uh, running along the floor, and it looked really adorable. Like this kind of sad little baby hovercraft. Shell felt bad for it. I do too. I mean, selective breeding for that kind of deformity is kind of sad, but... Oh, we can lock on. Oh, I probably should have read the rest of that. Whatever. Because there's something about... Oh, I see. Right trigger lets me switch. Airless cat, maybe. Oh, gosh. Those things are so cursed. And we'll just reload. 
Yeah, definitely. Oh, I wonder if we can get like swarm missile launchers. Like, what is what is the upper limit on the guns in this game? Hopefully, the, it gets really stupid. Because for me, these games are always kind of attractive, just because it's like, what is the kind of zany zany armaments you can get up to the up to over the course of the game? Because I definitely remember some of the most, like, ridiculous weapons in EDF and uh, Waves of Steel got, like, really goofy stupid in the best possible way. Okay, dodge. Move at high speeds and take the, uh, escape the enemy's attack. Still don't know if that gives me iframes or not, though. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We'll get to that point. This guy found me from, like, across the screen. I'm impressed. From what I've seen, you will not be disappointed. Heck yeah. I... What what games have I been playing recently? Oh, um, so I was playing Forspoken uh, over the weekend. Like, I actually beat the whole thing in three sittings. Uh, which is kind of nice, actually, just because it's fun to play the occasional game and, like, beat it in a short period of time. But also, why the hell did I do that? That game's not bad, it was just very disappointing, but one of the things that got me was, like, the magic system was really cool, but I wanted it to go, like, turn the dial up to 11 and just go nuts with it, and it never really did. Like, I guess the final magic set you get is kind of fun, in a really unique way. Oh, there's the gold ant. Uh... Those suckers fast. And dead. Well, there's the money. Ugh. That was a really small little dude. Alright. Uh, let's see, do we have... Unfortunately, the bigger mini-map doesn't really show much more. Uh, but so, like, I'd really love to play, like, an a, uh, a good wizard action RPG kind of deal. Where your spells truly do get absurd by the end, like you're slinging meteors and stuff. Uh, but alas, no dice. But I can get that kind of, not not that experience um, from games like EDF and stuff where it's like, sure, it's a gun, but I'm still slinging meteors and it's kind of hard to mine that much. Okay, we want to go this direction. I, I, how would I describe it? I'm, I'm having trouble articulating myself because uh, my voice is starting to go for the day, which is a shame because I was really hoping I could record more than I did, but is what it is. Um, I really like games that dial, like turn the dial to 15. Like the limit is 10, but they still figure out how to crank it to 15 by the end. Instead of trying to go with like a much more balanced approach. Like I'm trying to think of first person shooters. I, I guess Doom is a good example of that, where you start with some really like basic weapons and you can upgrade them to get a little bit more interesting, but by the end of it, yeah, you've got the really goofy weapons. I, you know, the BFG and whatnot, that are considerably more powerful. A lump of romance, gold ants, money, energy drink, and some other things. Cool. Oh my god, I didn't expect you to defeat a gold ant! But, well, I thought something like this might happen. I've got the store terminal ready for use when you're out, out there fighting. The super stubborn payment system is going strong, as usual. It won't even give... Uh, won't give even the slightest discount. Anyway, using this money you've earned, you can get stronger. So hurry up and get stronger and go west. Okay, so what can we buy? We can buy weapons, but they're legitimately worse than what I've got. We can, can't buy armor, can't buy... Ca uh, cannot buy collars. Ooh, max heal drink. Oh, that just completely restores my HP. I was hoping for stat ups. Uh, wait, what? Oh, we can exchange dog tags for these things. Okay, that's interesting. So there's the metal barrel body. Oh, I see. That's just like a huge HP bonus. And number of slots. I don't know if that's for accessories or for if that's for like HP or something. Uh... Spark Crown. No, I have no idea what the slots are. Boy, some of these get goofy. I guess we're gonna have to save up a bunch of dog tags. We can also buy hats. 
Wait, these are... What? Crush requirement. Bomb attack. Okay, that's interesting. A pochi car. What? How much... Wait, Gwyn hat. Wrestler mask. Uh, okay. I... We're just gonna have to figure that out later. Trial of the White Ant. A very rare giant termite has been identified. These are powerful monsters that will contaminate the area. If left unchecked, it'll eat up nearby residences and facilities. However, if you succeed in defeating them, you'll have a chance at expanding your area, and acti area of activity. For the sake of a richer, happier, and more civilized life, I recommend that you quickly go for extermination. Ooh, the money is great, too. Save first? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't actually know if, uh, if I have to reload when I die. The prey this time is an albino ant. This is the boss of these ants. If you can kill it, you'll be able to see an escape route to the west. Get fired up and kill it. Don't worry, you can be electrically revived even if you die. If an ant dies once, it's over, but you can die as much as you want. In the end, it's clear who has the advantage. Well then, go for it. It's kind of just kind of scuffed. You know, go die, dog. You'll be fine. What? What about like grievous injuries? What if I lose a limb? Do you just zap that right back on? That doesn't make... That, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. It looks like these things don't scale up at all. Alright, I should probably turn on lock-on. Oh, I see. That's, that's how we turn lock-on on. I might as well grab the money. Everything is weak. To gun! Oh, it's an owl. You actually made me bleed. Rude. But yeah, knowing the fact that I can get some HP recovery, like, accessories as well is going to make this kind of goofy. Did I actually take damage from that? I did. Oh, well. I guess I'll use a healing capsule just because. So they heal 300. Good to know. Are you able to repeat missions? Because you could grab another, uh... 105 millimeter burst. I could. Um... I'd have to refight that thing, which wouldn't be too bad. Which... Effectively, what I'd rather do at that point is actually just continue progressing. Because there's got to be other mo wanted monsters that are going get, to get me even better loot. Oh, oh. Give me that money. Because, yeah... Grinding is fun, but if I'm not actually having any trouble, I'd rather actually progress as far as I can, then grind. It depends on the game, though. There's definitely ex exceptions where it's like, nope, that's the grind map. I want to go back and grind it. And so, like, I know that mid-boss would be it, but there might be another one that I can go for. But yeah, I do hope that we get other biomes. That's my other thing. Because it is literally just the same map over and over and over again. Mild variations, but... That mild is doing a lot of heavy lifting. Okay. I don't think I've left anything behind. But I will also admit, those wanted contracts are like thousands of gold compared to the 20 that I get from killing an ant. So it's kind of hard to specifically care if I leave anything behind. That's a good cannon, though. The only immediate problem with it is that is some long reload times. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. There we go. Yeah, what I should probably do is just alternate between one machine gun and then the other. Because while one reloads, then I just switch to the other. The only immediate problem is I'm not actually memorizing which button is in which slot. So I just press the button until everything is dead. Ooh. Plus, here's the other reason why I didn't want to go back and grind for that plant. Ow! Okay, so it turns out the albino ant freaking hurts. Actually, these 7 millimeter machines machine guns, millimeter machine guns just have a fast enough reload time that I really don't need to alternate between them. 
Oh, his like little ant buddies are suicide bombers. Oh, you can just rapid fire that cannon. Rad. Okay, so in that case, let's get rid of the machine gun for... Ooh, AT missile. Reload time in seven seconds. I'm gonna go for the albino cannon. Oh, it's just a singular, singular shot. That's rough, never mind. Let's get the uh, AT missile. Yeah, honestly, that plant might actually give better gear. So the Albano ant was worth a lot more money. Ah, and still no more dog tags. Oh, oh you killed the Albino ant. That's great, fantastic. He's eaten, he had eaten a lot of my friends. It's finally time to have a drink with his legs as a side dish. That said, most of my face, tongue, and internal organs are already machines. Anyway, now you can reach the desert area, which is a little far away. You'll acquire more items, so use the town's warehouse from now on. Haha, <laughs> maybe it's possible. All right, next, let's surprise the desert monsters. That ant died super quick, though. I was maybe a little powerful, so we can store items in the warehouse, but why would we ever do that? We are going to sell things. We are going to sell all of my... Junk. Okay, slots bulk. Okay, multiple section. What is an energy drink? Ah, it's better healing. Oh, damage value up, reload time reduction. Interesting, so you can actually see what its uh what its bonuses are. I wonder if we can ever change those. So range up damage value up versus firing interval reduction. Oh. I don't think that's much of a difference. So I think I'm also going to get rid of the albino cannon while we're at it. Uh, thoughts bulk sale? Wait, what? Okay, sell those. So I don't know what slots bulk sale is. And I'm assuming he doesn't have anything new or interesting. Yeah. So, at least for now, the shop is pretty worthless. The supply routes of hostile mechanical life forms have been discovered. Rebuild human culture by invading, overrunning, and pillaging. Resources are originally meant for humanity. This is a legitimate fight, calling all volunteer hunters. Wait, so we're just raiding the machine men's, uh, the machine people's, like, towns. Boy, I, I feel like this is like a weird prelude for Nier Automata. In front of you, in that crate, there seems to be something a little special. If you equip it, it might do you some good. Okay, treasure chest. Items grant effects. Weapons and armor that have slots may have effects granted by the number of slots. Even with the same weapon and armor, the granted effect can change every time you get it. And it looks like white, green, blue, purple, and orange. So we got armor. Okay, just increases my max HP, which is going to be nice. And gets me a little bit of HP regen. Which is also nice. I don't know how much... That is necessarily. So it seems to be 5 HP every once in a while. What the heck? It's just a missile truck. Alright. Well, I think at this point we've actually reached the um, the real part of the game. We're out of the... We are out of the prologue. The maps seem a little bit bigger. The loot chests are a lot... A lot more prevalent. And there actually seems to be some amount of danger. Okay, good. I also heal seven fairly regularly. AT missile. Yeah, let's swap that on. Oh, that reload time is... short? Is that... no, it's not short. It's just faster than the other one. Fine. Let's actually heal while we're here. Those missile truck AOEs are, uh... Pretty nuts. I'm actually gonna have to be careful about those things. This <laughs> this game picked up in a really good way. But yeah, it's 7 HP every couple of seconds, which seems pretty good, but considering I'm getting hit for like hundreds. Ouch. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. 
Luckily, my own missile salvos do a decent chunk of damage. So if I'm just kind of slow about it, I can, uh, as long as I wait for my reloads to finish. Or if I just circle strafe. Seems like circle strafing works pretty well against the tanks. Got here in uh, four hours, just got out of the prologue. Uh, let's see, at. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, my, my whole stream has not been playing this game. I, I alternate a lot. I've only been going for 38, uh... I've only... Yeah. Why can I not think today? I have no idea. I can only go for 38 minutes. Well, it's... I can think fine. It's... My thoughts to my mouth. Okay, that... Phrasing on that is... Was a little scuffed. But, like, translating what's in my head into actual, like, waveforms? Not easy. Oh, and we're out of, uh... Inventory space for healing capsules. Found any other good ones other than this? Oh, there is Death Roads Tournament, which is great. Uh, Hardwood Heroes, which I really enjoyed. Sort of. Uh, I got my butt kicked by my wife, but it's fine. Let's see, Wonder Wood, Word's good, you're just tired. Maybe. I think it's mostly I'm just slightly, slightly stuffy today. Ow. Uh, it's probably messing with me. Okay, scoot there, grab. Nope. Go back for the money. Even if I don't care too much for the money, I might as well go for it anyway. It'll probably stack up. Or not. But yeah, some days I just don't have quite the dexterity uh, in translating my thoughts into words, and it, it throws me off a little bit, because it's just like, no, I want to record today. Today's not an off day. I feel like I actually feel pretty good today. Uh, some days I definitely feel a lot worse where I'm just kind of like, I don't really want to be streaming right now. But today is one, one of those days where I'm like, yeah, I'm jazzed. All the, all the games that I've been covering lately have been really good. Last week was such a dry spell, though. It was brutal. Constituent mutagens. What? There was something strange among those items you acquired. Constituent mutagens, you might call them that. What mysterious items? They seem to function by altering the quality of the machine's components. Maybe you can do something interesting with it. I don't know what they can do yet, but my scientist blood has been stirred with excitement for the first time in a while. Warehouse. Deposit, remove. Eh. And then just more doghouse stuff. So I don't think we can do anything with that at the moment. And it doesn't look like the shop has gotten any better. Well, sorty again. Giant shadow of the desert. Traces of the Romnell ghost have been confirmed in the desert. It's an extremely powerful tank-type monster that will turn on you if you confront it with half-hearted equipment. We don't want to get our hopes up about defeating the Rommel ghost, so we're asking you to investigate the enemy forces here and take down five weak monsters. But also, if you can defeat it, cool. Wait a minute. This, this is a very dangerous... Or, there's a very dangerous monster nearby. I still don't know what kind of monster it is, but I have a very bad feeling. Stop fighting suddenly. First of all, pick up items while scouting. You may have already realized it, but some of these items have special effects. Even the same items may perform differently. Examine the performance of the items you picked up. Choose your equipment and, in any case, survive. Anyway, if you go... Want to go further west, you'll need to survive first. So it looks like this is another one of those optional enemies that's going to be really hard. Yeah. Yeah, those are reasonably, reasonably tough. Luckily, the missile launcher kind of carry, carries pretty well. Ooh. I need to get something better than the uh, machine gun, to be honest. I don't hate it. But it's big problem mostly boils down to it's not actually that accurate. It's good in close range, but I need something reasonably accurate in further range so I can actually stay away. So is there lore behind why you're playing as a dog? I think this is a companion character in the Metal Max series. Okay, so if I dodge just at the right time, I do I do actually manage to avoid taking any damage. Yeah, more missiles. I... It's tempting. Yeah. Actually, you know what? More missiles. Alright, so we've got... 
we don't really have much for attack options in the short term, but my firepower is really good, and so I can kind of hit and run with this. Did I get him? Yes. There we go. Yeah, that's way better. Because this way I can focus more on dodging and staying away from my foes. And since the enemies are kind of few and far between, I can keep my distance while I reload and focus on, on dodging and jo Oh no! Ow. Okay. Void for a second. Just hit him with missiles. If I can take out all of the other trash tier monsters helping this guy out, it'll make my life easier. Okay, now now we go for what I call uh, press all of the buttons, fire everything. Oh, never mind. He brings friends. Okay, this is going to take a while because I think he's going to bring a lot of friends and I can't quite kill them yet. At least he himself is pretty weak and from what near as far as I can tell, ah dang, ah beans. Grab that, oh, that's another 105 millimeter cannon, ain't it? Yeah, I'd rather have a couple of blues. Yep, missed him. Oops. Ow. That was some machine guns. Ooh. And those hurt him pretty bad, too. Oh, I see. That big cannon does a lot of damage. It doesn't fire very often, but it hits like a truck. Kind of. Okay, I'm just gonna get through this. Wait, is that... No, it's 300 gold. Okay, ow. I didn't know he could shoot backwards like that. It's okay. We've got him down down to half. Yeah, as long as he doesn't overwhelm me with too many too many goons simultaneously. He's done summon more. Perfect. I'll get plenty of opportunities to shoot him. But I should mostly make sure he doesn't summon too many friends simultaneously. Because if the plant was any indication, you absolutely can hit a certain point uh, where it starts hitting critical mass. And that gets really dire. Okay, there we go. I wish he had like a very overt weak point so I could do a little bit of extra. Okay, next one. Rommel Ghost is almost dead. It does amuse me to no end that it's just like, flee! It's too strong for you, and I'm like, screw you, I'm a dog. I don't understand the meaning of strength. All I understand is the meaning of extreme firepower. Actually, focus on the Rommel Ghost at this point. Nope. In response... There is dog. Ow, 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 ow. Stop. Freaking Lock-On has just decided I want to kill this thing. I guess I have to go for the, uh, the trash. 
I just wanted to finish him off, but uh, no dice. Okay, he's gonna warp in next to. Me. Okay, there he is. There he goes. See, only need a little bit more, and we get a 120 millimeter spark. Let's get rid of the cannon for the spark. Maybe. I don't know what kind of weapon it is. Ooh. Ah, it's a shotgun. Huh. Well, that was fun. Is that dog carrying weapons that weigh more than itself? Oh, absolutely. Don't don't even think too deeply about this game. I'm not. Well, that's a that's a lot of money. All right, super energy drinks. Yeah, those will be nice. Oh, it seems what you met was a rumble ghost. The desert demon turned ghost. That's what killed you before. Well, you came back alive this time. I killed it. Think of it as a little progress. And I have a report too. Example constituent mutagens. While you were fighting, I did that like this and like that. I did various things. Your weapon, use the constituent mutagens on it. I've developed a facility that can be used to alter the special traits of equipment. We named it the Weapons Laboratory. You can see the details by using it, but the main thing is to keep uh, main thing to keep in mind is the results of an experiment can be ridiculously good or it could get worse. It's a completely random world. But that's why it's thrilling, right? Haha. <laughs> Haha. Oops, this is no good, or rather I got a bit too excited. Or have the mechanized brain and heart genuinely broken down. Anyway, it's been a long time since I was uplifted. By all means, use the weapons laboratory. Okay, by paying ma materials and money, you can randomly change the effects of your equipment. But it's really just a reroll. So, could be useful. Don't know how much you care. Not for this one. Not for that one. Definitely not for that one. Anything that gives me reload bonuses, I pretty much want to just ha hang on to. Because the longer my reload, or long reload times just feel bad. Yeah, the equipment system in this game reminds me of Damon X Machina. Yeah, it kind of does. Though, I like this better. I really did not like Damon X Machina in the slightest. It could have been such a cool game. But they just kind of didn't bother. I don't know. I, I could go into great detail on that one. And I probably will someday, talking about like good and bad mech games, but that's gonna take some time. For now, though, I think I'm gonna call it quits on this game, and maybe give my voice a bit of a rest, uh, rather than try and go on to another game. But I did really like this one. I think this is actually kind of cool. It's a great time waster. I don't think it's particularly deep, uh, but I can see some people really having fun just going to town and getting to the way, way, way end of the uh, game and getting some, like, really absurd weaponry as as a result at the end there and having a blast with it but for now at least let's go take a break